it says uh, the official in charge of coordinating U.S. government cybersecurity operations has quit, saying expanding control of the National Security Agency over the nation's computer security poses threats to our democratic process. Even from a security standpoint, Rob Breckstrom, the head of the Department of Homeland Security's National Cybersecurity Center, told Yana Press International, it is unwise to hand over security of all government networks to a single organization. Well, yeah, it's dictatorship. But then it goes on with the new bill, and he talks about the private takeover, total takeover of everything. They've announced. Senator Rockefeller, Jay Rockefeller, went on TV last week and said, if we'd be better off without the web, we got to get rid of it. New York Times says, we got to get rid of the old Internet, have Internet 2, where you have a subdomain on somebody else's government site or private industry. Fifty corporations get it, fifty universities and fifty agencies. That's Internet 2. And then you'll have 150 domains for each nation. You'll have a sub-account, and they'll have rules and say you can't post. This is openly, publicly stated. This is Internet 2, and they're going to end that neutrality, start taxing the web. It's already happening. This is it. Stated. And uh, here's the uh, bill. Senate legislation would federalize cybersecurity. It says over private industry. I mean, you can go read it for yourself. They just tell you how great it is, though. People say, well, why do you use mainstream news? Well, a lot of times they tell the truth. They just spin it. You know, they're admitting what they're doing here. They just say it's a good idea to keep it safe from China. So you understand, folks, they're openly saying they want to shut down the web, how terrible it is. The newspapers are imploding. The establishment's losing all credibility. They have to shut it down. And believe me, when they set off a nuke or release smallpox or whatever these jackasses are planning, you better believe that they're going after the web first. They're going to claim I, that China or Russia did it. Mike Rivero, specifically on the Internet front, cybersecurity bill gives Obama dictatorial power over the Internet. Even Mother Jones admits with the headline, should Obama control the Internet, that this is a takeover. They're taking over the infrastructure uh, the very hubs of the companies show that the government literally can shut it down or tap it without warrants, and that's admitted. And as you know, three weeks ago, the head of cybersecurity for Homeland Security over it quit saying this is a threat to our free country, our threat to democracy, uh, and our republic, uh, in his words, uh, by doing this. So there's your inside whistleblower that this is a total takeover. you got the New York Times coming out saying we need to gatekeep the Internet. We need to control free speech because the mainstream media can't compete with us. No, they absolutely cannot, mostly because we've caught the mainstream. And Well, actually, I call them the corporate media because the mainstream is shifting to us. The alternative media, the blogosphere, we're already outpacing uh, traditional paper newspapers. We're, we're neck and neck with the large uh, radio networks like Clear Channel. We're catching up on TV. And the bottom line is this is a threat to the monopoly of information by the government and by the corporate media. They can't lie to us anymore. And if they can't lie to us, they can't control us. And unfortunately, our government is carrying so many lies forward f accumulated over the last 200 years, they can't start telling the truth now, or they, they're they going to face some very embarrassing questions. And so they're kind of trapped by the, uh, uh, the fossilization of their mendacity, if you want a phrase for that. And so, yeah, they see the Internet as a threat, and they're trying to find ways to control it. They plant all kinds of public relations people on there uh, to try and shout down uh, dissenting points of view. They certainly monitor uh, all of our websites and, and watch out for what we're saying and keep tabs on that. They fund and set up their own competing websites to try, as your song for the bumper was saying, to try and keep us squabbling amongst ourselves instead of uniting and realizing that the biggest problem with the United States is the United States government. And so, yeah, they're going to try and control it. They're going to try and shut it down. I don't think they can succeed any more than the people who wanted to shut down Gutenberg's movable type printing and inexpensive books were able to succeed with that. Uh, we, we already know that there is a networking system out there called FidoNet that operates without the big corporate uh, uh, fiber companies. Uh, it's a little slower than the traditional Internet, but it does work, and it can operate without being uh, subject to government censorship or control because there is no physical infrastructure. It's all telephone to telephone to telephone. And remember, in the former Soviet Union, that corrupt government was brought down by a network of fax machines. That's all the Russian people had to spread the truth with, and that's what they used. People want the truth. They're going to go where the truth is to be found. If they find some way to shut down and turn the Internet uh, into just a glorified new TV network, the people who want the truth are going to find a way to get to it. There will always be a new alternative means of mass communication because now we know it is possible to accomplish.
Exactly. As they tax the web, shut it down, only make it a few thousand channels, as China's already done, as Australia's announced, you know, Chinese style net censorship for Australia, and they say that's good. They're now trying it with ending net neutrality, Internet 2, uh, all of these systems, and now having the federal government make companies bring in federal hubs to literally snoop and watch everything with no warrants. I mean, Obama said he was going to, you know, end Bush's warrantless wiretapping. He's going further uh, than uh, Bush did. Yes, he absolutely is. There was a story we ran uh, earlier today basically saying that Obama is expanding Bush's legal justification for warrantless snooping on all of our communications. And folks, here's the bottom line. Under this guise that our government is trying to find and, and, and deal with terrorists, they are treating us like we are the criminals. Every time we go through an airport, every time we do, may send an email, every time we make a phone call, we are being treated as if we are the prisoners. That They are so terrified of us. They're trying to find some way they can stop us from communicating with each other. That's the reason for the police roadblocks keep us so scared we will we won't talk to each other stay there stay there repeat that when we come back that's key uh, oh why is the army at the checkpoint oh just the army's here now hi oh by the way we've trained your kids to tattle on you and by the way we're demonizing the second amendment and by the way we work for the bankers ha ha i mean come on police and military you really want to be in this position on the wrong side of history stay